Fallopian tubes are the structures that help the transportation of the ovaries, the fertilized eggs, to the womb. So fallopian tubes are the channels which has to be patented in order to get pregnant. When a fallopian tube removal is required, that's because of some kind of infections in the tubes. This is one of the causes. The other second common cause is ectopic pregnancy. This is a, a risky situation for pregnant women. Another need for fallopian tube removal is, the, you know, is to prevent ovarian cancer risk in some patients. And in some women, in order to have a permanent birth control, we can remove the fallopian tubes after patient's sterilization wish. Fallopian tube removal is a very easy procedure. It's done by laparoscopic surgery. As it's done with very small incisions in your belly, you don't have pain uh, a lot after the surgery. It can be done in a daily basis surgery. You don't need to stay at the hospital. After fallopian tube removal, uh, your periods will not change. Nothing changes regarding your hormonal status. Everything will be the same. The only thing that changes is that you will not be pregnant anymore. If you wish, you wish to have babies after fallopian tube removal, the only way is to have an IVF treatment for that. This is a permanent way of sterilization for women. After fallopian tube removal performed by laparoscopic surgery, when you go home, you usually go back to your daily life in one to two days. You can have some little pain because with laparoscopy, we work with carbon dioxide gas. And when this gas is, it just irritates your shoulders or you can have some belly pain or in your stomach, but this will be over like in one week. The surgery for fallopian tube removal risks are very minimal. When a woman gets pregnant, the most important part is to know where the pregnancy has implanted. After getting a post-pregnancy test, we became assured with the ultrasound and we see the baby, the gestational sac inside the womb. If we cannot see the baby inside the womb, then it can be an ectopic pregnancy. As the most common one, uh, form of ectopic pregnancy is twelve pregnancy, then this severe life-treating condition has to be treated by surgery or by medications. If a woman has already had her tubes removed, then it's not possible to conceive spontaneously or in a natural way. In women with fallopian tube removal, in order to get pregnant, the way you need is the IVF treatment, in vitro fertilization. With in vitro fertilization uh, methods, we just fertilize the egg outside in the laboratory and then we replace the embryo to the womb. So we don't need to the tubes to be there or we don't need the tubes to be patent. After fallopian tube removal, the only way to get pregnant is with in vitro fertilization treatments. We can open the blocked fallopian tubes by surgery. This can be done with laparoscopic surgery or by a small incision in the abdomen with laparotomy. We usually prefer laparoscopic surgery. When doing this kind of surgery to open the uh, blocked fallopian tubes, we just go inside to the abdomen and we see the abdominal organs. If there is too much adhesions or if there is too much scar tissue in your tubes, then this kind of surgery might not, that might not be possible. Otherwise, reopening and just casting the scarred or blocked part of the tubes and just joining the healthy parts together can help you to uh, unblock the tubes. This kind of surgery can be done daily basis or with one night stay at the hospital.